because there's going to be a lot of battle going on here. He's going to be pushing, and you're going to be following. He's burning a lot of energy, and I like it, because I know as soon as he stops to breathe, he's going to be like, hey. and he stops to breathe, I'm going to switch my base and do this. You see, it's really simple, because all you got to do is push, switch your base. Now, this foot comes forward and gives you a lot of reach with this leg and you throw it over. Okay? Now you're going to have to transfer your weight up forward so you can adjust the down position. I had the side control, position, chest to chest. Then Coach Ga uh, Professor Gabriel went to a hip escape. I switched my arms to block that hip escape and stop his knee from getting underneath my chest like we do in a fundamentals program. And he usually, he, he used that opportunity to get his underhook going. Okay, before he turns, I will wrap his arm, bringing my hand to my chest, and moving towards his head. Lock it up and get the Kimura grip. Okay, monkey grip, locking, connecting both arms. And that's when he goes for that strong grip. Strong grip that really gives me a hard time breaking it and finishing the Kimura. Okay, I'm gonna stay tight and start working with his collar, like I said. My right hand will reach for his collar, pull it up, and wrap his wrist. Bring it right over so I can control his arm with one hand only. Little by little, I'm gonna move to the side mount on the opposite side and get my thumb inside with the fingers outside, dropping my elbow into a tight choke. With one arm only, it will be really hard for him to stop, okay? Take your hand, guys, to the tricep and start to pull the arm up. The same time, you pull your foot tight and take your, your leg to the inside here. Make this pressure, okay? This hand from the tricep, you pull to the ground. And here, you take your weight here, this side. The other hand, control your chin here. In the same time, post the other foot. See, I have the both my feet on the, on the ground. From here, I start to pull my leg this way and take my hip to the ground. My hand will help me for push myself this way. See? This hand already here, I just can control the belt or post. This one coming here, control the shoulder. My legs, I will throw this way to the outside, and now I'll go to my knees. So make your show mount, hand deep. When he's prepared, his bridge, you already know, when his bridge, just watch. Go with him, and make sure you drive your knee <coughs> close to his head. Right, left hand, put his triceps up, and lock him in this position. As soon as you do that, guys, make sure you use your weight towards your right leg. That's one way, then remember, you have, still have your hand as a base in case he's trying to bridge. So the same hand I have in his collar, just control my own collar, block his face, and then I, let, I have well, my left leg just light to go. Right, if he's like that, just control his wrist, and case his control, keep your hands, keep your base, use your right foot and his biceps, break, and then you have the umbar. All right? I'm on the side control, okay? Cool. What I'm gonna do? My bottom hand, okay? Gonna control in his armpit. Go all the way in his armpit. I'm not gonna go forward. I bring him towards me. You see what happened with my shoulder? Okay? Shoulder heavy on him, sprawl, making him uncomfortable. What's gonna happen right away? Do you think he's gonna be there forever? No, he's gonna come with his arm to defense himself. That's what I'm looking for, okay? Pay attention. One, two, open his gi, okay? I'm gonna feed my bottom hand, my, my bottom hand okay? Then I'm gonna come back and go to the knee on the belly. Always I try to explain to my students, keep your focus on points, okay? I'm gonna drive the knee on the belly, try to hold for three seconds. Get two points, go to submission. Pay attention. 
One, two, down. Palm up, don't forget that, okay? Fingers are gonna slide all the way after the line of his hand. What I'm gonna do? Elbows close. Whenever I take my knee out, I will drive my forehead on the spot I have my toes. I'm gonna make a clock, okay? Pay attention. One, two. Finish him. Very simple. From here, you just clear the legs and drop. Now your partner will actually continuously escaping his hip and pushing a little bit. You have to, one, trap the hip, place a grip. He will be pushing a little bit and trying to slide that lower knee here. See, I lost adjustment. And we are learning to continuously adjust, bringing our knee against our elbow. Just keep your hip, Professor. So that's the resistance you're giving to your partner. Do it again, Professor. You follow, swim inside, stubble inside now. And go back and do it for both sides. Clear the leg, keep it simple. When you're here, usually, you go chest to chest. So he, he's pushing, forget about chest to chest for now, and drop. And lock your elbow against your knee. You're far from him. He wants to push, he will almost give you his neck. You control, you climb chest to chest. I feel like each one of you, the students here today, each one of you, professors here today, and I include myself, we should feel very successful about this special class, this special energy we brought in here today. So let's put our hands together for us.